Javelin. Javelin. Johannes Vetter. Speaking of a lock, he's the lock of all yeah. locks. Gordon. Top seven throws of the year. He started 96-29. Only guy over 90 meters. He was bronze in 2019, but that was his last loss. Undefeated. 2020, 2021. Gold in 2016-17 as well. Other people who will factor into the medals. Uh, Chopra of India. Krukowski of Poland. Walcott, Trinidad and Tobago. Mardare of Moldova. Um, and then you have Michael Shu of the U.S., who was second at, all uh, second at the trials and just threw 85 meters recently. Puts him ninth on the list this year. And then Anderson Peters, 2019 champ, but he's only thrown 83-46 this year. Feel good about Vetter. Feel very good about Vetter. Everybody else pretty low. I guess I'd put the U.S. medal odds at somewhere around you know, 5%. Yeah, Vetter's going to win. He's the best. He's the Mondo of the Javelin right now. Without the championship, with the championship pedigree. So, yeah, that's what we're going to say about that. I, I guess, I guess with, with Vetter, it's just, man, that type of consistency and just the, the, the PB that much better than everybody else who's in the mix this year makes him a, a, a pretty big favorite. So, yeah, Javelin he's what? seven of the top seven marks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you look like – I mean, the drop-off, because if you just look – if you just sort it by everybody's best mark, it's, it goes from 96.29 to Krakowski's 89.55. So it's almost seven meters there. Then yeah. let's see if Krakowski's ever thrown over 90. Uh, I don't think Personal he best. He's never thrown over 90. Yeah. So even even if you take PB of Krakowski doesn't beat Vetter, and then Walcott of Trinidad and Tobago, his personal best is ninety point one six from twenty fifteen, yeah. which is not going to repeat. So, yeah, Vetter is the heavy. Weird. Yeah, it's got to be weird going into Olympic competition and and being like, hey, I just need to throw within five meters of my best, and I can win. It's got to be an interesting headspace to be in. Yeah, so I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to bet $100 on better and I will win uh 20 bucks. <laughs> it's going to be great. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. I think that'll do it. Is that it? that's everything on the field event? side of things so if you missed the beginning of the show if you're tuning in live the people listening on the podcast no they've already listened to it but we, we did central at the top and then the marathon first then the decathlon so if you missed the beginning you can go back and grab that next week we're doing the running event previews so yeah yeah monday and also yeah, we ahead. have a live we have a live event in two days at the under armor sunset tour in california Big names, Brandon Kidder, Drew Wendell in the men's 800. Robbie Andrews is there. 800, Ephraimson, Olivia Baker, Emily Richards, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Nia Akins, Nikki Hiltz, Ali Wilson, Marta Fridas in the eight. 1500, you got Sarah Vaughn, um, Carissa Nelson, Ellie Hines, Dana Mecki, Eleanor Fulton. I think the best event, though, will be the men's 1500. You got Sam Prakel, Eric Jenkins, Vincent Cietti, Charles Philip Thibault, Louis Grijalva, Johnny Gregoric, Isaac Yorks, Henry Wynn, Paul Ryan, not the congressman, and Eric Avila. So that men's 1,500 should be good. And then women's 5K, Josette Norris coming off our sub four is going for another yeah. fast uh, 5K. So that should be really good. Uh, it's a great meet. Uh, it's on July 25th. So watch that live on Flow. All right. Thanks to Colt. Thanks to Travis. Again, next week, Monday, will be the women's running event previews. Wednesday will be the men's running event previews. And then starting Friday morning, we'll go live recapping in the morning the day's action. It'll make sense. We'll get, we'll get, we're going to get on Tokyo time. We're going to be on Tokyo time. It'll all make sense. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Subscribe to the YouTube page. Subscribe to the podcast. We'll talk to you guys next week.